Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have discussed about that things with you, how can add some of the toaster in your project, right? So right now we can actually able to add the toaster. So how can add it? I hope you, that's very much clear to you. So now in this video, I want to discuss about that. That is our total project, right? So here I have created one of the total projects. So now I want to do, I want to deploy this project to one of the web server. So if you want to deploy it, first of all, you have to do, you have to take that backup. So here, if you want to do that work, there is a two file. One is our main file that is in our ST docs. I have created one of the folder as a basic. So in basic to the basic folder. So into the basic folder, I have created our total project. So now I want to do, I want to um, backup two of this. So here that is our main project and also we need our database. So that is our database. So now first of all, I want to do, I want to actually export our database because that will be also needed. So I export it and into the export that is a custom. So select always into the custom for when you actually take some of the backup from your local host. And into this position here, you can see that exactly if not exist. So here make that sure you select this one. Then it should be automatically get, get all that your appropriate ID. So now I select it and now after that I click as a go. So now you can see it's now successfully downloaded that file. So now also we need our this file. So that is our main project file. So to, before uh, make it as a jeep. So before do that work, we have to do, we have to uh, clean all that cache. Then it should actually, it should be better. So here you have to do, you have to go to your appropriate this file location and run with the CMD. And from here, first of all, our first command will be as a PHP artisan. Okay, PHP artisan and the config. So that is a PHP artisan config and then the cache. Okay, so that is a PHP artisan config and cache. So first of all, you have to do, you have to uh, select this one, click as a enter. Then it should be, you can see it's now showing as a configuration cache cleared and also configuration cache is successful. So now it's updated and after that we have to do, you have to cache clean. So that is a PHP artisan, a PHP artisan and then cache artisan and the cache and the clear okay so i want to do i want to make it our this cache clear so I'll click as enter and you can see application cache is cleared and after that i want to do I want to add that view clear as a php artisan and then the view i make it as a view and view clear okay i also want to do and to make it as a view clear now click as enter so now you can see that is our completed as a view cleared so before actually take make it as a jeep so make that sure you um updated this part as a php artisan config cache this is php artisan cache clear and php artisan view clear and after that we are ready to make it as a jeep so here everything is now perfect now go to here and particular this folder i want to do i want to make it as a jeep so here i, I want to do and to add this at the archive you can make it as a rare file you can also make it as a jeep file so right now i make it as a jeep and now click as a okay so now friend you can see it's now um, actually jeep all that our total folder so it's may take little time better when it will be done then i will come back again so friend here we successfully make our this total folder and I make it as a jeep as a basic right so that is the two file will be needed so that is our file and also that is our database so now that is the two file will be needed so now I want to do I want to um, upload that means I want to deploy this project one of the web server so I have one of the client so that is my client website okay so that is one of the static websites so now i want to do i want to upload this project on here and so that is all domain and then slash i want to do and to create another uh, folder okay so first of all you have to do you have to go to your web server uh, c panel so that is uh, this domain c panel so there's the when you actually get some of the web server then this web server provider will give you that all the details that means for access your c panel right so right now our my cpanel address is the domain name and then slash cpanel. So here you have to add your appropriate username. That means the cpanel username and the password. Now click as a login. And first of all, into the file manager, if you go to that file manager, into the file manager, that is a public HTML. And public HTML is the main root directory. And here you can see friend, that is the index HTML is now loaded, right? So for our main domain, so for our main domain, that's the index.html file is loaded. So that is a loaded. 
so here i want to do i want to uh, upload this project and here i want to uh, create one of the slash project and that means the slash and then our project name so this type of one of the um, folder i want to create so first of all i want to do i want to upload our project so you know if you click as a upload so in our public html that is our web server main root directory so here i want to upload it so here i want to uh, upload click as upload click as a select file and now go to our c drive and into the c drive that is the zamp and into the zamp that is our st docs so i have created this project as a laravel 8 and here you can see that is actually our zip file so now i select this file now open it and now you can see friend it's now successfully uploaded so now if you click as go back so here i have uploaded this folder so that is our folder right and also we will need one of the database because i have to have to also add our local host so that is also one of the database we have to also add it so if you want to do that work first of all we have to do we have to create one of the database so that is a mysql database option and also you can create it mysql database wizards so from here i want to create our database so first of all here we have to do we have to add our database name so I have created this project folder as a basic. So better I want to add this name other than whatever the name you actually choose. You can choose it. It doesn't matter that you have to add that basic. Okay. So whatever the name you actually choose. So right now I make it as a basic. So basic um, that is our basic Laravel. Okay. Laravel is this type of one of the name I want to add as a basic Laravel. So that will be our total database name. That means this one will be our database name. Better I want to save it. So here uh, we want to save it. That will be our this one. And after that, that will be our database name. So I name it as that is actually our database name. So now I save it, click as a next step. So after that, you can see it's now showing as a your username. So username I want to do, I want to add as a same as a Laravel or U Laravel or U basic. So this type of one of the name. So it will be as a this one. So it will be as a this one and then uh, then our username will be u basic so that will be as a u basic and also i want to create one of the passwords so better i want to add some of the password this type of one of the better passwords so you can create it rather than you can also generate some of the password from here so better i want to generate some of the secret password and make that sure you save it because that the all information will be needed so that is our database name that is our database username and that is our database password okay friend so now i do that work and here i paste it so that is our database password so here i have already saved it so that will be our password right so that will be our password so now i want to do i want to create as a um, create user so our user actually you can see that our user is successfully created so that is our user so here i have already saved it so that is our username right so now i we have to do you have to make it as a all privilege and then i want to do and to make it as a make changes so everything is now perfectly done so here everything is great right so now i want to do and to go to our um, sql that means if you go to our return home and if you go to that mysql php admin And here if you go to the database so i have created one of the database as a basic laravel right so now open it so that is our database name i have created and you can see that is actually the same name so now i want to do i want to import our file because of all from to this our local host i have already export some of the file and now i have to do i have to import it so if you want to import it there is option for the import and now choose this file so in my download so into the download here that is actually my sql file i select this one click as a open so now it's opening and now i want to do and to click as a go now you can see our total database is now successfully added right so our total database is now successfully added so that's the things i want to do everything is looking great okay so that is all that our database you can see into the local host so that is actually the same structure right you can see there is actually the same structure now i have now i have uploaded this uh, database that is a in our localhost this name is as a laravel 8 so that is our total file you can see into the web server that is our database name and that is our total file that is all that our database table so now it's successfully uploaded so now we have to go do we have to go to our um, again so that is a basic folder is into the basic folder right now i have to do so that is one of the zip file right so now i select this one 
and here that is all that our file so now i have to do i want to extract it click as extract i click as extract into the public html click as extract file so now you can see that is our total file is now extracted so that is our basic folder um here so you can see that is actually our basic folder into the basic folder that is our all that our laravel file you can see that is all that our laravel file so now here you have to do you have to update only that e and v that means if you go to uh, right now we don't need this and here here you can see it's not display that dot env file so here you have to do you have to go to that setting and with the setting there is option for the show hidden files so now open that show hidden files just click, click mark it and click as a save and then this file will be display right so that is the our dot env so now i want to do i want to edit it click as edit so here we have to do we have to update our right now we are using that uh, web host and here we have to update our web host everything like web host database name database username and the password so i have already created uh, that uh, all that file that means here that is our database name i simply copy it and now i want to do and to update it so that will be our database name and then i want to update the database username so that will be our database username before that was root as a local host right now i want to update it and also i want to update the password so that is our password right so now i simply update this password so that's all you have to do so after that if you click as a save so now you can see the so friend here that's all you have to do okay so make that sure you are updated appropriate your database name the database username and the database password and now if you uh, want to access it like here i have already created this folder name or folder name as a basic right so that means our main directory and after that that basic folder so now if you just redact it to the slash and the basic click as the enter and here you can see friend that's all that our file right so that is all that our file and from here if you go to that uh, public so to the public you can see it's now showing one of the error it's now showing all of the sessions error so if you want to add that session or error so that is actually the one of the errors so if you want to solve it you have to do you have to go to your project directory and that is one of the bootstrap folder so now go to that bootstrap folder go to dash cache and that is also one of the config.php so here you have to do you have to actually delete it so i want to do i want to delete this config.php file i delete it okay so that is in our basic folder there is our bootstrap and that is our cache and that is one of the config folder so now i delete it and now if you click as a enter yes you can see friend our total project is now successfully running okay everything is just like that same what exactly we did in our local host so everything is now same i show you like that is our home page so that is our home page is visible and here the, if you go to that our contact page so you can see that is a cloud contact page is also successfully visible right and then that is our portfolio page so our portfolio page is visible so all the data actually dynamic everything is dynamic is comes from our database so if you want to access our logging portion if you go that logging and you can see our logging template is also successfully loaded and here i have already created one of the a uh, username as the admin at the red gmail.com and password as you do me one two three four five maybe now click as a sign in sorry that will maybe um you do me one two three right so you do me one two three click as a sign in yes you can see friend now we are successfully uh, redacted to our specific this uh, dashboard okay so that is actually our admin dashboard so that is our brand so all that brand so if you want to edit any brand if you want to add new brand as a new one as a new brand okay I name it as a new brand and choose some of the images from my computer so if you go to the desktop so from here i want to choose and uh, this image and now click as the add brand and now you can see friend our toaster is also perfectly visible so it's now showing as a brand inserted successful that is our brand is visible and that is our new logo that means your brand name so that is our brand images and also if you want to edit it you can edit it okay i want to update it, this part click as update brand you can see our toaster is also visible and it's successfully updated 
right and also from here if you go to the change password option so there is a change password option will be work and there is a my profile and there is a my profile is visible so if you want to update it you can update it from this area okay friend that means every portion you can see there is a slider so from here if you want to add new slider you can add that new slider there is our about portion so if you want to update this about portion you can update it from this area okay friends so here we successfully updated our total project and we deploy it in our web server so everything is now perfectly working i hope you enjoyed very much and that so that is actually the process to deploy your project to the web server so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.